This is not an ordinary story about electricity. This is a story set in a country with shortage of electricity. A country that has so much potential to produce megawatts and megawatts of electricity. This is Uganda. Rich in culture, beauty and land. This is a country with a history of inadequate power supply. The ongoing investments being made here are directed towards setting up a sustainable electricity infrastructure. It creates wealth and industrialization and offers a stable livelihood to thousands of people in the country. It's not the only solution, but sustainable electricity generation can contribute to a diversified economy, which in turn sets in motion a positive impact. The country was faced with a power supply crisis and the government had to come up with a program that could incentivize private investors in the power generation. In May 2013, with support from development partners, Government of Uganda launched the Get Fit program to fast track the development of renewable energy generation projects. The objectives were to bring 170 megawatts of renewable energies to the grid by 2018. This was aimed at managing the country's demand supply balance before the commissioning of large hydro plants. Uh, the program has uh, been very successful. Uh, so far, 17 projects have been licensed, including two solar projects uh, based in Soloti and Tororo. But overall, I think uh, the objectives of the program have been met. A lot of the framework that was intended to be set up in the Ugandan energy sector has now been set up. All the documents have been standardized. And it's easier for investors to come into the sector and develop renewable energy projects as a result of getting it. We have attracted private sector investment in the field, which was not forthcoming. It is from this background that ERA organized the trip to these power plants so that they can acquaint themselves with the progress of Get Fit projects. The board of ERA and members of the Natural Resources Committee of Parliament embarked on a monitoring tour of project sites and electrical installation. We visited the Hoima substation, uh, the mini substation at Hoima. Uh, we visited the, the Waki Hydro Power Project. Western Uganda. Um, we also visited the PC uh, hydropower project again in Western Uganda. We visited Nyamwamba hydropower project, which is also under construction in Kasese. And we also visited the Defender substation, which is a transmission substation in Kasese. Um, in the eastern part of the country, we have we have visited um, city one and city two um, hydropower projects with a combined generation capacity of 22 megawatts and we have also visited the access solar pv project uh, in soroti which is going to produce 10 megawatts i was impressed personally and the community is very happy because this is the first plant that is trying to utilize our abundant sunshine, solar power to generate electricity. And they are going to generate 10 megawatts, which they will feed into the grid. The visit for ERA has been uh, very much appreciated. It was uh, very good that the decision makers at the highest levels of government decided to visit these projects to get first hand information. This journey has acquainted us with the key information, what is being done in the sector. We have done substantial progress, which is not uh, probably uh, known to the majority of the Ugandans. How much work is being done in the remote regions of Uganda, bringing renewable energy to uh, electrify the uh, masses of Uganda. Uh, the challenge is that um, we did not go much into the taxation issues and their implications on the financial viability of these projects. The biggest challenge I have seen is of land compensation. These wires, these high voltage wires pass through people's land and according to the law, uh, land belongs to the people. So compensation people have not been compensated and people are not happy. From these interactions we found a challenge 
that we are producing, generating a lot of power, but the trend at which we are distributing it to the consumer seems not to be moving at the same pace. The biggest challenge has been the access to the project area. As you can see, it is a, a very remote area, and uh, most of the year there is a lot of rain in this area, which is also the reason why we are here. I must say I am happy. We saw very good work in Jinja. We saw good work uh, in Dororo. The government is doing a lot of work connecting up uh, these remote villages with small renewable sources of energy so that the entire Uganda can be self-sufficient in electricity. Looking forward, um, we expect that all of our projects should achieve financial close and commence construction this year. We have uh, enjoyed the support of IRA who have been considerate in giving us a good, a good license and good tariffs and we look forward to continuing to contribute to the electricity supply in Uganda. Now, Uganda is a, an internationally known destination for renewable energy investments, mainly as a result of that. No, this is not an ordinary story about electricity. This is breathing new life into an industry that was thought to be lost entirely. <laughs>